1968, Richard Nixon was elected president of the United States, and his theme was he was going to bring this country together. Unfortunately, two years later, the deaths at Jackson State and Kent State brought a nation that the President's Commission described as the most divided since the Civil War. It was because of people like Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, all the President's men, we could see what occurs when you've got a president full of deceit and lies in terms of the Watergate scenario. Fast forward to 2022. We've had the election of Donald Trump. We've gone through impeachments. We've had an insurrection against the U.S. Capitol, something most of us would have thought was impossible. What we've attempted to do at the eighth annual Bland Karen and Emerson Global Summit at the historic Watergate in Washington, D.C., is to bring back Bob Woodward as a way of reckoning with exactly the challenges we face today. Throughout this entire day, we begin with America's favorite pollster, Spencer Kimball. He gives us an outline of what the midterms are all about with Emerson's latest polls. We look at a historic study looking at the Hispanic vote. We also look at the Asian vote. And from that, we take some of the most important political pundits to try to figure out how does it all fit together in terms of American politics. In the afternoon, we explore the Ukraine war with one of Europe's most respected diplomats. After that, we look at sports as soft power, looking at the dynamics and possibilities of esports. We bring in legendary people like Charles Steinberg and Al Jaffe of ESPN, talking about how you can build successful stories to motivate people. We bring in people like Scott Ratson, one of our specialists in terms of COVID, in terms of the messaging and the credibility issues. We also bring in change agents like Elise Nelson and others, more or less empowering young people, regardless of your age, culture, how you can be a change agent to change the world. And then we captivate the entire evening with Bob Woodward once again talking about what it's like trying to document the history of storytelling with a president like Donald Trump. We hope you can tune in because throughout that entire day, what you're gonna find is we are reigniting an interest in public speaking no technology, no computers, no PowerPoints, just the power of the spoken word.